Good afternoon. Jeff with Half-Assed Gaming. Doing a video today um, on a little Blender stuff. I'm working on the Western Star 4900. Now I was asked by uh, one of the team that's on vacation to see if I can get some of these nodes sorted for the fenders and the front bumper um, and so on. Um, air def is already there, the air deflectors on the front. Um, I just had one to add there, but the node was already in place. So there's two ways to do this realistically. Uh, the easy way and then um, doing it all manually. So we're going to do both ways and so I can show you what needs to happen. All right. So uh, you're going to notice over here in the list you have the air def already there. So that was a node already created um, by our member of the team. Um, so the easiest way to make a new node is go over here to the tools, duplicate, and then now you have it kind of dragging around with you, and then you can place it wherever you like. This is going to be a bumper, so I'm going to place it there. And then we're going to right click rename. Okay, now the name of the item that we're putting into the game is called bumper. So uh, what that means is I'm going to show you that in a second. So you want to name it bumper and then you want to give it the um, brackets at the end because as you can see here in the truck this is vehicle truck upgrade. Okay, in the upgrade folder, this is called bumper. So these names have to match. So the name of this node has to match the name of the folder in the upgrade folder. Okay? That's all you have to remember. So bumper with the brackets. All right? Now, we also want to put on some fenders. So, we're going to rotate over here. Let's actually recenter this. I'm going to do that. So, I can do one of two things. I could duplicate the hook if I wanted to. Um, or I can build it myself. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor right there and then I'm going to make one. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here to create. You're creating an empty um, an empty point, empty object. Hit that. Now it's just axes right now. So it's just uh, X, Y, Z. But we want to make it a cube like the other ones. So we're going to go over here to uh, the data portion. All right. And right here you can see a drop down that says cube. Now it's a little big. Um, generally these are, called, these are 0 0.05 in size. So you type that. And there's our, there's our reference, but it's under the truck. We don't really want it there, do we? So there's a couple of things you got to do with that as well. Um, we want to move it, obviously, first of all. Um, so you can do it two ways. You can right-click it. Excuse me. You can right-click. It on the screen here, or um, you can find it in your list, which is called empty right now. 
and then translate from right here. So now I can translate it with my mouse, so I can move it around like so. Or I can press translate again twice, and it will give me the vector down here. So I can, um, we'll say, this is Z, so raise it up. So you can barely see it moving up there. You can click right in the center and type one, say. And now it's right here. I want to move it over to the right a little bit. Type it one. So now it's a little far off the truck. Um, so I might change this to 0.75 maybe. Maybe even a little closer. Say 0.5. There we go. So there's your fender. Um, but it's up here uh, saying empty. Obviously, we want to rename it. So this is going to be called Fender. At some point, maybe it's going to type. There we go. Open, close bracket. Now we got to assign this uh, to a chassis. So we're going to assign it to chassis 6x4. So you select it here. Now as I start moving it, you can see it says drop to set parent. So the parent is going to be this chassis 6x4. So we're going to drop this right there. OK. Now, that is going to be our fender uh, node. All right, as you can see here, it says Fender. So we're good on the spelling. Everything is good. Uh, a couple things, a couple more things you do have to do with this. Um, once you have changed the name and made it a parent or made something a parent of it, you do need to ha do two things. Apply parent transform. So now that associates it with the chassis. And then you also have to apply location and rotation. And we have to do the same um, with the other one. And before I forget anything else, actually, now that I'm thinking of it, we have to go. Oh, that's not it. So. The rotation mode should be this bottom here, W, X, Y, Z. That is the rotation mode that you need to have these in. And I'll show you air def is already in W, X, Y, Z. Bumper is already in it now because we just copied the air def. All right. Uh, so that is basically it. To create nodes, now the other part of the equation, um, which is probably the more difficult part, is the fact that the truck can't have the fender or the bumper on it in order for you to have nodes. Because uh, the nodes essentially replace this bumper. So this has to be exported without the bumper and without the fender. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna export this and then we're gonna show you what it looks like in the game in just a few minutes, all right? So here we are in game uh, with the Western Star. And here are our nodes, bumper, fender, and you can see the fender node is way up in the air over there, and that is why I normally duplicate ones and not um, 
make new ones because it's hard to get the relationship where the actual node is in relation to anything else. If you have one already existing, like the AirDef, um, it's already set up properly. Um, so all you have to do is basically just duplicate that, make it a different name, and it will be actually in a reasonable area where you can um, select it in this screen. Um, now if I click on the other bumpers, you're going to see they're all spread out all crazy over the place. Um, I have not gone in and changed anything uh, with relation, rotation, uh, anything like that. So those all need to be adjusted, of course, but they do show up in game. So now it's a matter of uh, basically moving them up, down, left, right, and getting them set up to fit on the truck appropriately. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today and you learned a little bit about Blender again. Um, again, this this is not actually done quite yet because I do have to remove the fender and the bumper in order to um, be able to place these bumpers on there. But this is half of the battle is making sure that, that is, uh, the nodes are appropriated. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you.